Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is June 9th, 2022. Here is the Feisty News for Women. Celebrity investor and Shark Tank host Mark Cuban launched a new company that provides patients access to affordable medications. Mark Cuban launched the Mark Cuban Cost Plus Drugs Company at costplusdrugs.com, a direct-to-consumer online company that offers more than 100 generic medications at discounted prices. Explaining the business model, Cuban gives the example of the drug prescribed for hookworm, albendazole, which costs as much as $500 per course. Mark says, our cost for albendazole is $26.08 per course. We mark that price up by 15% so we can continue to run the company and invest in disrupting the pricing of as many drugs as we can. That makes the base price of the drug $30. Then we add on the actual cost, $3, that our pharmacy partners charge us to prepare and provide your prescription to you. That makes the sale price on this website $33, far, far lower than the pricing available in the marketplace. Social media users have called this new online drug company life-changing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark. This is a win for the people. In other news, Johnny Jepp joined TikTok to thank his fans for their support during the defamation trial he brought against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, after she published an essay that claimed that she was a victim of domestic violence, which he says directly damaged his reputation and career. Depp won the defamation case and Amber was ordered to pay him more than $10 million in damages. When Johnny Depp used TikTok to thank his fans for their support and moving forward, Amber's team replied to his post, as Johnny Depp said he's moving forward, women's rights are moving backward. Um, now hold up. It seems to me that Amber and her team are under the illusion that her loss in this defamation case is a loss for women. No, it's not. Her loss would only be a loss for women if and only if women identify with her. Do you know any woman who identifies with Amber Heard maybe saying, oh, she's just like me? I don't. Amber wrote that essay describing her life as a domestic violence victim because she wanted to represent women. She is still trying to represent women, but the only thing is we are not choosing her to represent us. She is not and cannot be an example of reversing women's rights because even though she has a vagina, she does not represent women. Amber, I understand that for a long time, the people who loved you most made you feel unimportant and unloved, and it changed the way you perceive the world and yourself. It happened to so many others. Then you copied their behavior, and now you set out to make other people feel unloved and unimportant. But Amber, this is not the way to make yourself feel important. To intentionally manipulate abusive responses and then record them so you can hurt the person in the future by showing the recordings? That is abuse, Amber. Trying to hurt someone intentionally, emotionally, or physically, that makes you an abuser, Amber. You are not representing women's rights, Amber. If you're truly trying to represent women, you're making us look bad. Leave Johnny Depp alone. That is really the only way you can win. In other news, in downtown Amherst, Massachusetts, a mobile gas station owner has decided to protest the hike in gas prices by draining his tanks earlier this month, and he says he will no longer be selling gas. The mobile gas station owner by the name of Gladu told the Daily Hampshire Gazette, I don't want to be a part of it anymore. This is the biggest ripoff that has ever happened to people in my lifetime. According to a report released by AAA, gas prices have soared across the country. As of June 6, 10 states have gas prices above $5. California, Nevada, Hawaii, Oregon, and Washington. AAA claims the rise in gas prices is a direct reflection of the oil market's volatility in the face of factors such as the EU's plan to cut off all Russian oil imports. According to the Consumer Energy Alliance, the average U.S. household will have to spend around 
$450 more for gas this year than they did in 2021. Well, it's time for a break. As lawmakers rush to create rules to keep her out, this woman wins anyway. Can you really find love on Facebook? We'll explore these two awesome stories right after the break. Don't miss it. Hi, my name is Ginger King. I'm a cosmetic chemist and brand owner for Fan Love Beauty. Fan Love Beauty is an inspirational beauty brand. We develop beauty products for people who inspire, educate, or entertain the society. The inspiration of my clean beauty brand, Fan Love Beauty, came when um, my celebrity crush, business mentor, Damon Zhang of Shark Tank, was with me at a meeting. And he took out a lip balm in front of me. I was like, Damon, if it's something that's so close to you, that's in your pocket, on your lips, it has to be mine because I'm a cosmetic chemist. We also donate part of the proceeds to Suicide Prevention Foundation because we believe if people can stay longer and using beauty products that are healthy and good for them, they will have even more contribution to the society. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women. Girl, guess what? Did you hear about the woman who just became the first black trans NFL cheerleader? Justine Lindsay, a 29-year-old black trans woman, announced she would be joining the NFL's Carolina Panthers cheerleading squad when the 2022 season starts in September. Cats out the bag, you're looking at the newest member of the Carolina Panthers top cats the first transgender female, Justine wrote in an Instagram post. The shocking announcement comes as transgender athletes in the U.S., especially trans women and girls, face numerous restrictions and bans in school sports. Justine later reveals that she has been subjected to transphobic harassment since her announcement. It's okay, Justine. You don't get to be the first anything without deserving to be there. Get on the field and get it in. Congratulations. In other news, we're living the feisty life and sometimes we need a reminder that there are good men in the world. I've been searching the world for women who have good men in their lives and I found a great one this week. Let's meet Renee. Renee, tell us the truth. Do you know a good man? I call him husband, my husband, Jerry Linsom Jr. What a wonderful, what just a sweet man, a very goofy man. And most of all, I can call him mine. He is loving, he is sweet, he is passionate, and he is my good thing. I know they say that women are a good thing, but he is my good thing. We met on Facebook. I, I know people say, you can't find love online. And you know what? I would say so, I would have said so. But then we met and we lived in two different states and we met three months later and said, we wanna be together. And you know what? We have been together ever since and we got married a year ago. He is, he pushes me. He wants me to be the best expression of myself. He has constantly said, Renee, you can do anything you put your mind to. I'm going to support you through everything. He is just, I never knew that love could be like this. I never knew that a relationship with a man could not only just give to me, not take away from me. He doesn't put his hands on me. He only puts his hands on me to love on me and to tell me, Renee, you are doing it. I am proud of you and I am proud to be your husband. He is my good thing. He is my sweetie. He always tells me, Renee, you get you going big time. You going big time. And he's going big time. We support each other in our dreams. He knows my dreams. I know his. I help him to, to wherever I can do for him, but he also always helps me. He is my blessing. The man I always prayed for, but I never thought I could get is him, Jerry Linsome Jr. 
Wow. Jerry Lissom Jr., you are a good man. Thank you, Jerry, for supporting Renee so much that she shines from the inside out. I can see it. I hope every positive wish you have for yourself comes true immediately. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty. Welcome to the Feisty. Welcome to the Feisty News for Women.